bottom van and are going to take you along on our van conversion journey. Um, it'll be the first one we've ever attempted to build out uh, with plans of living in it down the road. Um, we both have always, you know, kind of dreamed of this van life once we started kind of traveling together. Uh, we also, back in July, rented, or August, rented a van, uh, just an empty cargo van, and we have a blog post about it so you can learn more yourself. It'll be linked below so you can get all the nitty gritty. Um, but basically, we rented a van from a rental company, and he built it out. Well, I mean, we just put a, a platform in it. We <laughs> yeah. put a queen mattress in it, which it was exactly the same as this one in terms of the size. You know, this is the the mid-length, uh, mid-height, all-wheel drive, in which that one was the same, except it was a two-wheel drive. And uh, so far, we, you know, we just, as far as trying to get our feet wet with the van life, uh, you know, we we have known, as she said, I guess, here for a while now, we were wanting to get in there, get in there doing it, um, you know, being able to go and travel and have our own freedom is, is definitely where the uh, direction we're trying to go. So with the rental, we drove it from Georgia um, to the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. We kind of did this whole little trip um, around Colorado. Non-stop. <laughs> yeah. Overnight. Yeah. We drove from Georgia and we it took us, what, 20? 20, 23 hours. Yeah. To get there. It was awesome. Um, we just kind of took turns driving and sleeping. It was great. And that really solidified that this was something that we wanted for ourselves. So after we returned the van... We kind of started our own quest for finding what we wanted. Um, we loved the transit. The rental one had its had its quirks, uh, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But the yeah. the build of it, as far as just the temporary setup, it worked perfectly. We knew price tag wise, we weren't you know Sprinter wasn't yeah, quite I mean, as in, far as the, in range, the options. <laughs> yeah, it just we wanted to be able to have a baseline and and get into the essential van life with having an understanding of where we wanted to go. I mean, with, in North America, you have essentially four options with, you know, with a newer, uh, more reliable type van. And, and with driving and traveling, you know, and everybody has their own, I guess, you know, budget, obviously, and, and tastes and preferences. Uh, we, we were leaning more towards wanting to try to find a newer late model van, um, which, you know, there's so many horror stories and everything from each model, you know, you, you just essentially have to go with something and try it. And, and with the one we rented, it was really good to learn and be able to see sort of, you know, how things work. Um, and then so, you know, with the essentially the Nissan, the, the Ford Transit, the, the the Ram Promaster or the Mercedes Sprinter in which all have their pros and cons in which you know all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive whatever you want to you want to call it in terms of a van you know the ability for more than two tires to move was a preference for us um, and you know just to be able to hopefully not encounter a situation that we can't handle and so the, the all-wheel drive one uh, she found on what a Tuesday night, mm -hmm. then Wednesday we were Wednesday morning we were at the dealership, and Thursday morning we head to Washington State. <laughs> <laughs> so we took the van that we just got, uh, which is what we're sitting in right now. It's a 2020 Ford Transit empty cargo van. It had about 450 miles on it. Um, that was the end of August, August 26th, and now it is. What, December 13th, 13th. <laughs> we've got 10,000 miles on it because we, you know, kind of booked it to Washington State and then we drove back. Hurricane was coming. We had to beat that thing <laughs> yeah, to get yeah. out of town. We had to beat the hurricane, <laughs> yeah. so we... We had to get to, what, Paducah, Kentucky <laughs> yeah. or something like that by a certain time to get in front of the path of the hurricane. And we got like an hour and a half past it. It was like truck stop. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> it was perfect. Um, and then on the way, we stayed out there for about six weeks just living in the van with the temporary setup that we had. And then we drove back, hitting up as many national parks as we could kind of in the time frame that we had to get back. So that was really cool. Um, and we've just kind of had it set up with our temporary setup this entire time. 
we've tried, we got a new um, double bed. Double. Full, full, yeah, full double, whatever. Same difference. Um, and we tried it this way and this way, and we decided that we are going to do it um, long ways, like in line with the wheelbase, basically, so that. Uh, one, we have to get up to go pee in the middle of the night. We're not like crawling over each other because that's just annoying. And then also something great that he pointed out was a lot of times when we're pulling into a spot, it's going to be easier to be level or to even like tilt our heads up a little bit more if we want. If the bed's, you know, straight to back. back yeah, to we whatever. found sleeping <laughs> just in the, what we've used. It just seems to be easier to level the van this way rather than this way. Yeah. And so, so we've been testing it out um, just with a different setup, and we've got a couple obstacles to kind of keep in mind with our build. So one, we've got the dual sliding doors. Um, we are the part of the dual sliding door community. Not one, I'm telling you folks, <laughs> but two. <laughs> For how we want to do it, you know, a lot of people just build out an entire wall, and they put another wall behind their seats. This one came with the rotating seats and two sliding doors, which is great for airflow, like phenomenal for airflow. Um, yeah, accessibility, everything. I mean, even yeah. just depending on where you park, you know, you may, the view may be on this side, <laughs> but you got a wall. Oh no, we got a door. <laughs> so, I mean, it's going to have its own challenges for sure to, to incorporate having the maximum amount of space and with doing the bed, the bed, you know, lengthwise with the van, it does, it did open a lot of space running it with the wheels, yeah. whatever, horizontally. And, but nonetheless, like she said, it's, it's just, it was just annoying for us, you know, there's, which if you're by yourself, if, if I was building this for my personal only van, 100% the van would go, the bed would go sideways. But with two people, it just kind of made it awkward. Yeah. Um, and I just slept better with the bed going this way too. It I just felt too. more normal, I guess. Yeah, so. it just it's easier to slide in and out. It seemed, mm -hmm. and and just we, we'll still be able to incorporate some cabinetry along the wall, and I'm planning to to build out farther down the driver's side, and have the more accessible side on the uh, the passenger side, and nonetheless be able to you know go in and out as we please from either way but the main door being the passenger side um we it, also are going to be working out of the van so having the swivel chairs um was important to us and actually the van just came with them so we didn't even have to get them extra yeah um but that also we need to be mindful of how we build it so that we can swivel the chairs Hound Doggy here loves a view. He's very upset if <laughs> he doesn't comfort, have a view. As you can tell, <laughs> he's got his rat can So yeah. we're going to have to build rat something yeah. here where he can see out the window when we're driving, but also still be able to swivel the chairs once we're parked um, to be able to work. So these will just be our work chairs so that we're not like working out of the bed or, you know, whatever. So. That'll be cool. Um, we're gonna try to incorporate, you know, some slide out options for tables and whatnot when the weather's nice. You can kind of sit outside. Uh, we've got lots of stuff. We've got most everything install Which is wise. Kind of why we haven't started too is, you know, obviously <laughs> wanting to film the journey. You know, we don't want to take it baby steps essentially, but you can't really build it without knowing what you got, and you know, you can look up dimensions and the size of say a refrigerator which we we're planning we we, uh, we bought the angle uh, 12 volt and which with that one uh, because of you know maybe covid i don't know with the market right now and everything with with black friday end of the year christmas the one we it's the availability is kind of where we went with the one we chose but nonetheless you have to have the item to be able to size the component for the space and so we've been acquiring everything along our way, uh, and and I think we're we're pretty much to the point of we're about to spin out and ready to start <laughs> building. You yes. know, we we've got their solar panels. We went with Renogy, mm -hmm. and and we think was what is uh, 400 watts. I think. Sure. Yeah, one of the two. It's at the box <laughs> at the house. But we got some Black Friday deals, in which we're fortunate to luck up on that and all. And uh, but you know. 
We're going to put the water tank in, get all that going, you know, be able to complete, be hopefully totally uh, remote and self-sufficient. Super exciting. Uh, we're going to try to film the whole process. This is our first time doing videography, any kind of editing. So it'll be a learning curve for us, but we're just jack to get started honestly so we've got the insulation we've got the sound yeah. dinner we just got the sink it should show up today we got um, boat trailers driving by <laughs> yeah we're at a boat are looking at us we're just this boat around what, <laughs> what are they doing uh, but yeah we get we had to take you along with our build let alone some of the adventures um our blog is linked below along with some of our you know pictures that we've taken from some of the trips that we've been on so check that out um there's a post specifically about our rental experience and how we um you know kind of did it relatively well it really was, cheaply it really was we looked <laughs> out i mean this you know the, of this the, don't so wanna. check that out we won't spoil the details you gotta <laughs> yeah. go read the blog <laughs> but it was incredible and um buyer beware but we got the van like two weeks after we got back. <laughs> yeah. So only rent a van if you're prepared to be really obsessed with wanting to get one very quickly after. <laughs> well, it just, it's just it's a kid to be able to understand and know where you want to go. I mean, we also determined then that we definitely need lots of little storage space because we. Yeah. That was probably the most annoying thing was like little stuff everywhere and I don't know if you can see these magnets up here but we just used magnets for like everything which worked out great for what it was but once we build this out like we need everything to have a specific place and be able to grab it out of there really quickly when needed. Oh yeah well <laughs> in which it also gave us an, an idea of what we were looking for with with the economy of the van to be able the feasibility the size where we were at how much we could you know adapt to the space and, and the two vans and how these drove differently compared to each other we were very surprised with the all-wheel drive and the performance compared to the two-wheel drive uh, the two-wheel drive was like driving essentially a log truck on ice. <laughs> that was the rental, it, not yeah, this one. <laughs> the rental and the all-wheel drive. This one's like driving a Corvette. That's I mean, you you Sunday driving Paw Paw on this thing. The two-wheel drive, <laughs> it was white knuckle rodeo grip. You you took your eyes off of the road to grab your Slurpee, and you were slurting in the ditch because it it was not fun. I mean, the thing would whip. And, you had the suck zone when you got behind a semi truck. Heaven forbid you got behind a semi truck and had to pass it. Because when you cut off of that tailwind behind it, iron heart maneuver, and you coming around to the side, and this thing would pit out. It was super sketch. It, it was, was very topsy turvy. It, also, yeah. so we test. We you know went and test drove this thing, and it was like, whoa, <laughs> like no, none of that. Yeah, like it drives straight down the road. You know, the, the other van, the one we rented, it didn't have cruise control, which was tough driving yeah, 23 hours straight. You simply, yeah. pretty much it wasn't the limitation of how long you could drive, it was how long your foot could hold. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> and your knuckles, because yeah. you were, like, could not let off the steering wheel. It and, was not fun. Yeah. But, but there again, with this one, I mean, it, it's, it's averaging anywhere from 17, 18 miles to the gallon. All-wheel drive. All-wheel drive, and, and it it's, has the Ford, you know, the maintenance package that we got. We can mm -hmm. have this thing serviced at any dealership anywhere in America. And, you know, and, and to each his own with, it, with each company and manufacturer. Um, but we, you know, thought we could try out the Ford at least. Uh, the, the availability of the Sprinters as well as the price tag had us definitely steering toward the transit. Not and, that I don't love them whenever I see them. Oh, yeah, that's a good-looking van. <laughs> Definitely the goals. <laughs> but this is this is our baby for now, and we're gonna build it out as best we can. We're still looking for names, so maybe help yeah, us out. Yeah, drop some name suggestions. Yeah. The Willow. wandering wigwam is, is, is on the table. <laughs> yes, the wigwam. Our rental van. We so we were going up. If you ever been to Colorado, Guanella Pass um, has. <laughs> these mountain goats that just kept coming across the road every time we drove up and down this this pass so we called the rental one the road goat which is great it's a great name but we can't name this one the road goat because that was the rental so yeah. yes give us some name suggestions 
our next video will probably be about kind of stenciling the floor, getting the flooring in, the sound deadener, and the insulation. But we'll be uh, keeping you in tune with the whole process. So wish us luck. If you've got yep. any suggestions or if you've already built one and questions, you're like, don't comments. do this, <laughs> yeah. drop it in the comments. Thanks, everybody. And Hopefully you like our uh, content and join us. <laughs> uh, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>